Maybe we should make you do this blindfolded just to add a little bit more intensity, you know? If I needed something like midnight or something, I would just go to Taco Bell. So I would go there, but I still think Chipotle's better. This is either very high level or... Huh. Yeah. I mean, maybe I'll go lower. I think I'm gonna go with like 12. I'm gonna go with like 12.35, maybe a little bit lower. Can you go over? Yeah, we're just, I mean, if we're, if we're over, we're over, but... I'm gonna go with like 1235. That's that's what I think I'm gonna go with. If it's like tw if it's like 1600, I'm gonna be upset. By the way, because it could be. I don't think it is, but it could be. Exactly, exactly. That's why I think it's a uh, lower rated. I don't think there's any thought process here. Like this all seems. Moment. Drum roll. What? I told you. I told you. I told. I told you that this is the problem. I had a feeling that it that that you, every so often you get one of these ridiculous games like this. Yeah. Ugh. And I needed this recovery. This helps me out a little bit. Yeah, I, well, I don't even know. I mean, cause we're, we're dropping the bottom score. So it's gonna be, yeah, who, who knows? Yeah. Well, we're, def we're probably definitely dropping the one before. <laughs> most likely, most likely. Unless it gets even crazier than that. Yeah, I think, I think we're both dropping that cause we're both off by like a thousand points. Yeah, exactly. All right, my chat actually did save me for that one. I mm -hmm. wanted to go, I wanted to go higher. I was, was almost gonna say like 23 or 24. Well, that was my thing. That, that's actually why I said that I thought that I was going to be right, because I, th I thought if anything, it would actually to be higher than, than what it was. So, Well, yeah. I, I would not have expected 1,700. That was, 2,000 would have been the lowest I would have said. Mm -hmm. Right, right. All right, let's All go right. to the next one. Yep, I'm pulling it up. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, let me just make sure that I have it all. Sure, no problem. It's going to download the little text document. It might make it easier. Okay. We are on game five, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, I will go through this one. Sure. We have another Reti. Huh. See, the Reti was the first opening I played when I started. That's a pretty good, pretty good opening to start with, I think. I mean, very thematic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, D, what do you think of D4 here? Um, I mean, I think it, I think it's the best move. I also think it shows pretty good understanding um, to play. I think it shows good understanding by both sides, like because normally this this feels like something that players who are master level would play, at least. So let's see. Okay, so it's like the Benoni now. Mm -hmm. So, okay. A three. Okay. Uh -huh. Queen A four. Uh, this is gonna make this very hard to guess. Yeah, because I, I I can't tell if. Why, why would you want black to put their bishop on d7? Instead you, of just playing I mean, you wouldn't. You, you wouldn't. So it's like, the, yeah, this is this is going to be hard to guess. Oh, no. Okay, so so that was already in an accuracy. Now, knight d2. I mean, this this seems like a pretty normal style Benoni with the mm -hmm. white side of the pieces. Right. Okay. Yeah, I, okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so f5, yeah. I'm really confused. This queen a4 is like very confusing because also black took with the pawn on f6, which is not normal. True. Um, and then, I mean, bishop h3, bishop takes g2, I think was pretty okay. Mm -hmm. Knight Oops. c7, ooh, he just walked right into it. Not a good sign. Right. All right, so white's just up in exchange, moves the king back. That's a pretty regular move, although mm -hmm. you didn't need to move it back. Right, okay. Okay. Grabs the open file. Black is trying to checkmate on G2. And that's the white defends with F3. F4, yeah, Ooh, okay. takes. I, I kind of expected G4 for some reason, but actually this is probably better. I mean, this is, this, this is, this is better, but I'm not sure what to make of this. Okay. All right, now the king's running, but white's up a rook. Ooh. Okay, so it's... How did how did we get here? Okay. Still very very complicated. Yeah. I I guess White ends up winning this game. Let's see if there's any uh, other mistakes. Okay. Okay. So White starts taking. Okay. Huh. There goes some of the pawns. Okay. Ask Just gotta Crystal speed a little bit here. Huh, this is, yeah, strange. 
<laughs> uh, wait, is the Blacks gonna end up winning this? I guess. I'm actually not sure. Like, probably the players are low on time here. Yeah, that's true. It's it's hard to tell what, towards the end. Then right. the accuracy just drops even more. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay, there okay. we go. Okay, okay so now black black trick yeah. Okay, so so white ended up blundering one of the rooks, and somehow black ended up winning this. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. man, this this game had a had a lot in it. All yeah, right, I'll let it's... you deliberate and right. it, it, and feel free to to make the move. Does it bother sure. you when I? No, no, it, no, it doesn't. Not at all. No, that's fine. Okay. okay. Um. Okay. First things first, you guys. The, it was 71 moves. 71 move game. I refuse. I refuse. I reiterate. I cannot say enough. I refuse to believe that someone under the rating of 1900 could play 71 moves in a blitz game. I refuse to believe that. 71 moves, and the moves were also pretty good for the most part. Um, so I refuse to believe that. So my guess is probably... Um, my guess is that it's not a rapid game. It's a blitz game. So, so my guess is that basically it's it's definitely two thousand plus, as someone just says. But how much above that is it? Like, because because takes queen f five, queen d two, knight g four. I mean, this shows good understanding. Honestly, I think this could skew high. I don't know. Your your refusal is refused. <laughs> um, also, queen h four is not a normal move. I mean. If, the, if this is like 1500, so be it. But I mean, I don't know. Yeah, we don't know the time control, but I, I think it has to skew higher. Especially because the, the, the moves were not pure blunders towards the end until white blundered the rook. So I guess, I think I skew it higher a little bit. That's my guess. Um, <clears throat> my guess is probably on the upside. So I'm going to guess it's like 2300 or something around there is my guess. There's no way this is 2,000 plus. I think it's definitely 2,000 plus based on the way the end game was played. I think it's probably like 23, maybe. I don't. I honestly have no idea. No way this is 2,000 plus. I think it has to be 2,000 plus. Um. Yeah, I should take some risk here. I think I think I should take some risk. I'm gonna gamble because e takes f6 is not normal. Um. I think it's like I'm gonna gamble with like 23 ish, maybe. I could gamble low too. I've always been lower than she's been. I've always been higher rather than she's been. So if I'm thinking about it from the math perspective, I should probably go lower just to be safe. Not like crazy low, but I should go on the lower end of the scale of where I can guess. So I'm gonna go on the lower end of the scale that I can guess. I'm gonna guess like 21-ish. Now, um, you can hang it. Yeah, I, I think it's 23. I think it's 20, I think it's 20, 2300 though. I think I'm gonna trust myself. And I'm probably gonna be wrong, but I'm gonna gamble. I don't honestly I don't know. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna go lower. I'm gonna go like 2150 maybe. Alright, I got my answer whenever you're ready. Alright. Um I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with 2200. Wow. Okay, I said 1900. You're probably I right. I, I don't know. I just felt like the end game was played too well by both sides. That's fair. That's fair. Yes, 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 and, and, and yes, 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 very what? good. What? 2400? Are you kidding me? Yes, yes. I, 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 I had a feeling it had to be higher. Like, And the only reason I thought it had to be higher was because the, 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 the end, there were two reasons. The game went very long, but like the end game was, um, the end game was like 30 moves of two works versus queen, and there weren't really blunders until the very end. That's a good point, but I thought the missed fork and queen mm -hmm. a queen a4 and then what happened <laughs> i i don't know 2400 just just felt too high for for that yeah well it's it's like my chats are like uh, can a 2400 really blunder knight c7 can they really blunder that fork like it's like yes they yes, can, they they can. especially in blitz especially in blitz yeah uh, oh man okay so have I been just underrated, rated, going too low for most of these? You've been, I think you've been lower. You've been guessing lower than I have on every single one. But it's like it's it's a mix because on on a couple of them you've been really right, whereas I've been really wrong. So yeah. it's, it's tricky, very right. tricky. 
All right, I'm gonna put the next game in. I'm gonna try to get redemption. This one felt bad. I I was confused, but I mm -hmm. I like your analysis of how long they didn't blunder in the bullet. That was Th there was also one other thing that I didn't say, which was that the number of moves. Like they played 71 moves, and I yeah. felt that below a certain rating, you're just not gonna have a blitz game that goes 71 moves. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, I'm gonna put the next one. Sure. Here we go. All right, here it is. Okay. Okay, so e4, e5, queen h5, g6. Okay, um, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, this is some sort of PTSD for me. I, I've seen this. I think I saw at least like four different games where XQC lost to this, where he allowed queen e5 and queen takes h8. Um, so this this brings back some some memories for sure. Yeah, I, I saw the trauma in your eyes. It's okay, yeah. Hikaru. You'll get through it. You'll get through it. So queen takes e4, bishop e2. Bishop G7. Oh my takes. gosh. <laughs> G7. <laughs> okay, F3 is a weird move, though, actually. F3 is a very weird move. Um, okay, so F3, Queen F4. Okay. Takes. <laughs> White is just taking everything. Takes. Oh no. I have a. White isn't going to get mated, are they? I don't. I doubt it somehow. No, okay. I look, okay. I, I look towards the spoiler. Okay. Okay, this doesn't look like a game I've seen before, so I'm pretty sure this is not an XQC game. Um, okay. This yeah, does I mean, I'll just feel go like towards it was a Pog Champs game. Yeah, it's definitely that. It's it's of some kind of like lower lower tier game for yeah. sure. But okay. but which lower tier? I'm not I'm not sure because White actually played. I mean, White played for traps, so I mm -hmm. guess his opponent or her opponent must have been very low rated. But White actually played decently. That's true. Although it wasn't hard to play decently. <laughs> Everything was hanging. That's true. That's true. That's true. It's like a game of Pac-Man. Right. Just, just take every single piece off the board. Yeah, I'm not sure what game we're watching. That was just gobbling everything. Right. Hmm. All right. I'll let you deliberate. Sure. Okay, you guys. So I I don't know. Bishop D7 is a very Bishop D7 is a very annoying last move because um it's not a um it's not a it's not an obvious move i mean it's a ch it's a check so you should see it but it's not an obvious move that, so that kind of throws me off just a little bit but what do i make of this i mean f3 is also a question mark because f3 is not the best move you should just take the bishops um fact that he doesn't resign no i mean i know it's low i know it's very low um the question is how low okay so i mean the question here is i think i'm ahead so I, I have to guess low, but it, I mean, it, what's the up, the max that this player could be with black? The maximum that I think the players could be is about 700 is the max, and it could be down to zero in, in a sense. Um, so I think it's a 700 max. I'm going to guess probably like, uh, I'm going to guess it's like, it could be 800 max too, but I don't know. I mean, like, okay, let me, I'll give the benefit of the doubt that it could be 800 max. So I'm going to go with probably like 600 or something. All right. I think I got our answer. All right, I'm gonna go with uh, 601. And we're gonna go with 420. Okay. <laughs> I'm always lower than you, I'm always lower than you. But hopefully it's right this time. It just feels like you don't lose all of your pieces like that. Although G6 could have been just a blunder. Oh. Wait. Wow. I'm just oh. barely closer. That hurts, that hurts. Wow. Okay. Ooh. All right. Well, at least we were both closer there. That mm -hmm. one that one felt fair. It wasn't like the other ones that were more shocking. So Right, right. That that had to be somewhere in that range. It's just a question of kind of like what the rating could be. But that that, that was a very fair one. I should have let my memes be dreams and not play 420. I think your guess was, I think actually both our guesses were pretty good. I mean, I I think cuz you can either I think you, like realistically you probably guess 500. And like you guess on the lower end, I guess on the higher end. So I, th I think we both made pretty good guesses. Yeah, that's that's fair. Yeah. All right, let me pick the next sure. game. Game seven. Okay, we're gonna need to have some spot on guesses. This is actually really fun. It's kind of relaxing. It's uh, well, yeah. I mean, as long though those previous two ones were definitely frustrating. It's it's very frustrating because like sometimes I've done it and it's like I want to try to get like an average score and then there's one of those ones where you bomb it. It's like you say like you know fifteen hundred is like twenty five hundred. It's so frustrating. 
Yeah, like number three. But it, it does make it more fun when there's curveballs because it's harder to think and it changes mm -hmm. your psychology for guessing the other ones. Right, exactly. Right. I'll, I'll let you take the, the wheel on okay. this one. So D4, B5. Okay. A Polish, okay. It could be a memer. It could be, you know, Pentacion just having fun. This is a very, very weird... I don't know what D5 and B4 are. This is going to be a very weird game. Okay, all pawn moves. Okay. Okay. This is, oh man, this is, this is going to be a problem because this, this feels like a game that is actually played by two good players to me. Really? Who are just memeing or what? This, yeah, this has a very weird feeling. Well, maybe not anymore, but I was going to say like the Rook A6 and Rook D6 felt very surprisingly good. Okay. Like this is, what is this game even? I don't even know what to make this game. Huh, so maybe I'm just crazy, actually. It's possible I'm just crazy. Rook F8, I mean, white takes. This feels like it's gone terribly wrong for black. For black or for... Well, now it's gone terribly wrong for white, too. Uh, sorry, I meant, I, I meant for... Well, yeah. white, no, no, but I mean, white's up a piece until you go knight F5, so... Yeah, I know. That, that's um, what I mean. It looks really bad for black, but you know what? Surprise, knight F5 is coming in. Right, so takes. Okay, Oh, check. no. Okay, uh, that's one way of playing, I guess. Um, <laughs> okay. Even I'm not that creative with my my gambits, you know. That's uh, yeah, that's. I, that's I, a I special swear point. I did not play this game, Hikaru. <laughs> that is a very special, uh, special Botas gambit. Yeah, I because it's was... like it's. I mean, like it's much easier like from far away to see to hang your queen, but like to hang the queen to like this is like just two squares away is very very um. It's very close. <laughs> And it's taken by the same piece that's already attacking right. your queen. It's just very, it's not, yeah. Okay. So let's see. And then here, okay. Okay, not a bad, actually that's not a bad move at all. And then here, and here, hmm. Huh, okay. Well, well black made it pretty cleanly after, but white's moves really threw me off there. Yeah, I I, I mean, this is, this this one has potential to be, be problematic. <laughs> yeah. Cause this could be like go. pretty decent players, I think. Or just, yeah. Okay. Or just beginners. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, you guys. I am really perplexed by this game. Like I, my instinct, my instinct says that it's it's not it's new, not super high. It's low. I'm trying to think what the bot. What's the Wishy upper end? Just subscribe. Okay, upper end that I can see as being is maybe sixteen. Maybe no, not even six. I think I can see up upper side being about like twelve hundred. Bottom side that I can see is maybe like. Um, could be like a 400 game, maybe. So 1,200 or 400, so it could be like 800. But you hang your queen like that? I mean, I don't know. My, I think I have to go lower. I mean, I think it's a little bit lower. It could be 1,000, yeah, but I mean, I'm going to guess a touch high. I'm going to go like 8, 8, 8. I'm gonna go like 850 maybe? I don't know, like, Rook A6 and Rook D6, like, is that a move? I'm trying to think of like Pokemon or the other Pog Chance players could play Rook A6. Did Jimmy, did Mr. Beast play Rook A6 against me? Did he ever activate his Rook against me like that or not, is what I'm trying to think. I don't think he did. So if I, if I use that and Jimmy was about like 650, I'm gonna go higher, I'm gonna go like 850-ish maybe? I don't, I don't really know. It's very, very hard to guess on this one because it could be higher, but it could also be lower. It could be lower. If it's 1,000, I'm gonna be disappointed. I'm gonna go with like, I think I'm gonna go high, but not high, high. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like, yeah, I'm gonna, I, think I, I think I have some idea of what I'm gonna go with. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll just wait till she, she comes back. I mean, I really have no idea. All right, I have my answer. All right, I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna go with uh, 850. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done this. I said 1530. Whoa, I just, okay, you know, but I mean, I, if, you, if you're behind, I mean, you can gamble. There's no yeah, reason I, not to. I, I'm gambling, and I've seen this kind of play in my sub battles from 1500s. I closed okay. my eyes and pretended it was a sub battle. Okay. I've seen, I've been through some some tough times watching my subs blunder queens like this. Okay, actually, it makes some sense. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay, I went, I, I overshot a little bit. I overshot a little bit. Yeah, but I mean, it's, I don't think you're, were you, 
I, I mean, I haven't looked at the averages, but I, if you're if you're far behind, it actually makes sense, kind of, on the random one to guess like really high or really low, one way or the other. I like you justifying my bad decision, and I'm gonna accept that explanation. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna say that's why. It could be. It could be. I mean, I was trying to figure out like the, the thing for me that, but I will say I actually thought a thousand six was 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 on the high side. So, I mean, I guess you had the right. You did have the right idea. But <sighs> it's yeah, yes. it's too high. All right. Okay, I, I, I yeah, I, I got a little too crazy. Sometimes, sometimes it happens. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, YouTuber versus Facebook gaming. Right. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Facebook gaming. Yep. Like YouTube versus Twitch would have been a bit more interesting, but I feel like Facebook gaming is always the the butt right. of the joke. Yeah. Just, actually, I'm just gonna change the scene for one second just to show my chat because like it's very funny, but like they don't they don't see it online. Oh yeah, but, of course. Um, Go for it. Yeah, like I'm they, just gonna they, grab they, some water. Sure. Second. Yeah. No problem. But yeah, so those of you who are watching, every game has a really funny set of names. So like, what what um what uh, what Alexander is referring to is like here you see the name. Like the previous one, I think had Ninja versus Tim the Tap Man, and this one it says like YouTuber versus Facebook game. So you guys couldn't see it, but um but yeah, so all these games have really funny names on them. So even though you couldn't see it, we we did see them, and I thought I'd just point that out for you guys. All right. Sure. No problem. I'm back. Did you get your uh, names on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I showed it. I showed it to them. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, let's continue here. So, mm -hmm. Trampowski attack. Yes. Interesting. Uh, so, no ninety four line, but I guess you don't have to. Yeah, I mean, but but okay. I think I think actually, if if we go back here, just like basic rationale, I think like if you're a stronger player, you'll either play d five or knight to e four or e six. Mm -hmm. But g six mm -hmm. is a move that I think you play if you're you're just you're not used to it and you just play the king's Indian every game. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Because it's not the best line here. Mm -hmm. um, okay. okay. Let's, Let's see. see how white plays this. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good by both sides. Mm -hmm. This looks like a game that I lost in Lenars in 2003 so far. Um, with, with what side of the pieces? Uh, I, I think I lost the game with the white side of the pieces. I <clears throat> I lost the game in the Trompovsky to, um, to Pavel Elyanov, a uh, grandmaster from Ukraine. So oh, okay. that's kind of what this reminds me of a little bit. So, e so this line could have actually been played by a right. strong player. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. All right. Knight b1. Interesting move. Not a bad move, but interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious where he's going with it. So knight c3, that was mm -hmm. not the worst repositioning. Knight's better on c3 than it was on d2. Yeah, G5. Yikes. Yikes. That's a bad move. Yeah, that is that is bad. Where is he yeah. going with that? Um, Queen B5. That's fine. I guess he's putting pressure on D5. It looks good. Mm -hmm. A3? Unusual, but not bad. Not the best move. Okay, so H5. Black is just marching forward. Knight A4. Okay, that white is playing this pretty well. H4. Knight c5, h3, king h1. That's nice. Knight, Knight g1, one. okay. Mm -hmm. Only move, really. Can black, can white take on b7 here? Probably not. Uh, actually, I think white can. But but maybe the, the danger is after knight b7, there might be some trick with like uh, takes, takes, and some rook b8, maybe. Ah, I mean, okay. white, white's still probably better. Although you have to worry because your knight actually is really bad on g1 here. It's like you, you don't really have anywhere to go with it. So it yeah, could be. That's could be problematic. Okay, so queen e2, I think white just wanted to get rid of the pressure instead, and mm -hmm. probably the line you just showed. Queen f3, very eager to trade queens here. Right. I would be too, with, with that pawn right. cornering my king. Although rook d1 is a bad move. I, I think I think if white goes g4, it's just positionally winning, because the bishop is really bad. On g7, you're going to win h3 as well. Like, this bishop is just so bad behind the pawn. Yeah, actually, this looks like a positional puzzle. G4 is a very important mm -hmm. move here because you don't think to play it because it looks as if you're weakening your kingside pawns, but then you're just completely... Right, you can take it, sure. You can even you can, you can even get the outpost, 92 G3, F5. Like, it's just... Yeah, the bishop is just terrible behind the pawn. That's also why earlier you should never play G5. Like, if I go back here, black mm -hmm. always wants to play F5 to open up the diagonal when you have these double pawns, one on top right. of the other. Right. Yeah, and then now the, the black fanketo bishop is going to be mm -hmm. useless. Okay, so G4, white missed that. Feels like white started playing a little passively, but I guess not a choice. He's just getting his pieces pushed back. Right. 
Rookie six, okay, defending the knight. Offering the queen trade again. again. Very, yep. very excited. Okay, F5, finally. He forced black into a good strategy. Knight E2, nice, looking towards F4. Free pawn. Right. Uh Oh, does this work? It kind of does, yeah. Kind of. Oh, dear. Oh, there's queen out three. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, oh no oh no okay that was a cute little tactic hmm. huh. this is actually a fun game this was a fun game yeah this one's also tricky hard 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 to judge all right i'll all let right. you deliberate okay you guys i think my instinct i'm just gonna guess right off is that white missed g4 white missed many things um i don't have a good i don't have a good barometer but i don't think it's a total beginner game I also don't think it's a super high-end game. Like, it's somewhere in the middle. Like, if I think about the low... Let me think about the high-end first. High-end for this game, I think absolute high-end would be about 2,300, I would say. I would say the upper bounds is 2,300, like Cuba the absolute Martinez, upper, upper end. Um, and I would say the upper end is about 2,300. And I think the, the bottom... The bottom end is probably I like... Uh, I think 23 is too high, down. by the way. I think, it's, I think it's a little bit lower. I think it's like probably 2,200 to about... Maybe 1600. I don't know. I think it's like 20 to 1600 is my guess. So, I mean, I don't have a good read on this. I mean, it could be 1900, could be 2000, could be mixes. Um, I mean, it could be a mix. I'm going to guess it's like, I, I mean, I still skew up. I skew on the high end because of the way this game is played. Like, I, I don't know. I got it whenever you're ready. All right. So I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with uh, 2150. I said 2100. Okay, let's see. And I, I think somebody in my chat after I said it, and by mm -hmm. somebody, I mean my dad, spoiled it, and he said Andrea played as black. But oh. He might just be memeing. He might just be <laughs> memeing. I don't know if that's real or not. Wait, but uh, but if she played this game, that means this must be a pretty... Did she play like in the... Oh my gosh, 2125, wow. Oh, so we literally, we literally got the same. Okay. <laughs> yes. So this was Andrea versus Kurtz versus Mannered Monkey. And I only oh. tell you because my chat spammed it too. So that's why it's 2100 because he's probably, he's like 2400. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I had yeah. no idea. Wait, but this was just a random blitz game or was this like an event? Uh, I don't know. Oh, Kurt Schneider. Never mind. Kurt oh, Schneider. Oh, it was from the oh. event the other day. That's what, okay. That's why everyone gets it. I, I was like, yeah, like what, why, why, why is this a notable game? Like, because if it's just a random blitz game she plays, why does everyone seem to know it? Okay. That's why. Cause it was like two days ago. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. That makes sense. People wouldn't mm -hmm. remember the other one. I, I, I thought they somehow knew. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Vila recognized this game. That, that, well, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> At least we split this one. True, exactly. I'll yep. take that. I'll take a split for once. Yeah. All, All right. right. Two more. Let's see. My dad said it's also on our Reddit. Papa Botas has so much credit karma. It's actually impressive. Wow. He, he makes so many memes. Uh, all right. I'll pull it in game nine. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Huh. All right. Oh, interesting. Okay. The, the names here they're gonna yeah blm and proud boy yeah exactly <laughs> yeah okay all right y'all you, you, are getting creative with these ones yeah um okay so what so we have the grunfeld opening this is actually this is pretty advanced i, I think one thing i would say for people who are newer to the game is this is not an opening that i think anyone below like 2400 should play not that people won't play it below that, but I think it's an opening that like you just should not touch at all. Okay. Okay. So bishop g7, bishop f4, c6. Okay, not the best move. Normally black plays for uh, for c5. Mm -hmm. E3, castles, queen v3. Okay, pretty good understanding. A5, takes, takes. Okay, rook c1, knight c6, bishop b5, bishop d7. Castles e6. This feels pretty high level so far. Yeah. Bishop d6, I... rook e8. Bishop g3, wow. Queen b6, mm. a4, I guess, support the bishop, right? 
I wonder if there is going to be any of our games in here. Because I, I feel like I may have played this as white. I don't think I did, but I've played similar positions. I had one time when I did it, I had one of my games pop up, but only one time. But you knew it. You knew your game, right? Uh, I didn't know who it was against, but yeah, I, I was able. To, it felt like it felt like one of my games, and I, I more or less, yeah, I, I had a, I had a strong Sue suspicion. Sue Day has gifted hmm. fifty okay. subs to viewers. So rook a c eight. Okay. Um. All right, rook to c two. Oh, by the way, someone in chat asked me why black can't go knight a seven here, just to show something instructive. Um, yep. Knight a seven loses the queen because white is bishop c seven trapping it. Yeah, that's a very nice tactic. So that's that's why rook a c eight is played here. Rook c two. Okay, knight b8. Although now knight a7 actually is good because now there's no bishop c7. So knight b8, rook c1, takes, takes, takes. Okay, queen takes, takes. Knight d7, rook c7. Um, knight f6. Okay. Rook b7, rook c8 played here. Okay, h3. So white is slowly outplaying black here. Sue Veronese yeah. has gifted 57. 94. Bishop c7. Bishop f8. B6. Okay. Bishop b6. Knight to e1. Hmm. Wow, this white is like is very this impressive. very well. Yeah. Yeah. So Although black is a little bit less so. True. True. Well, it's a very tough opening to play. True. Although rook b, b7... What Funny could black have done instead? Knight d6. Uh oh. Black didn't play it, but knight d6 is the move. I mean, it's losing still because white can go like rook c6 takes and rook b6 with like knight d3 c5. But to go king g7 and just miss it is also kind of weird. Okay, so rook d7, a4, f3, knight d2, knight d3, knight c4, knight e5, knight a5 takes here. And now there's a checkmate, right? Check here, check here, check here. Hmm. Knight e5, rook b7, rook h6 to go checkmate, I guess. G5, yep. rook g6, and I guess black ran out of time here. Although black's getting checkmated regardless. Right. Because you're just going to take or go knight f3. Like king h4 takes and then knight f3, or vice versa. Like rook b2, check and mate. Huh. Okay. So, so white played really well, and even the move you showed, if, if you would have seen the maneuver with knight d6. Mm -hmm. um, it's still, it's still kind of losing, okay. yeah. 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 All right. Let's All see. All right. I, I think about it. All right, you guys. I have a pretty good idea of this. Like I said, players are pretty strong in this game. I don't know how strong the players are, but I'm going to say bottom end, it cannot be lower than 2,300. 2,300 is the lower end. Upper end, I'm going to say, is potentially up to about 3,000. So I'm going to probably go in the middle of that range because I don't really... The opening, the technique from white overall was very, very good. So I'm going to go somewhere. I'm going to go upper end. I, again, now that Alexandra's way behind, though, she has to kind of overguess. So now I have to use my meta. I have to use my mind and not not underguess too low. Because like if it's three, if she guesses 3,000, she could actually like catch up here if she guesses like 3,000 potentially. So I need to not... Because I know it, I need to play the math, the, the range of the math here as well. Um, so if I play the math range, I'm gonna. I mean, let's assume it's three thousand or something. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm gonna guess it's like twenty six something maybe is my guess. But I, I don't. I mean, I don't think it's three thousand because there are there are enough three thousand players. Um, but yeah, I, I have a pretty good idea. No, you guys, it's based off average, so it's not completely clear cut. It's based off average. So yeah. I have a pretty good idea. Let's see. Yeah, I'm 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 good here. I'm 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 pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm pretty good here. I have a pretty good idea of what I think it is. So let's see. Yeah, also thanks for the gifted subs, by the way. Sorry, I, I didn't get to that, but thank you. I did see it. All right, I've come up with an answer. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with twenty seven twenty five, and I'm gonna go with two thousand six hundred sixty nine. Chat okay. obviously suggested mm -hmm. this, very obviously. Let's see. You you went pretty high. You went pretty high. Well, I went high because I thought since you were behind. <laughs> <laughs> we're both off by a, we're both oh, off no. by a mile. Oh um, no! Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna say whoever that 2022 is, uh, you have a very bright future in chess. You have Aww. a very bright future. 
Because this I, this was played very like, well. I feel like the mods should should share the name when somebody gets a compliment and hide them when they play badly. You know. That's true. Yeah. Actually, yeah. That's, that's, kind that's, of a, that's nice a good way point. to do yeah. it. Because you only like hearing the compliments. Yeah. His uh, name okay. is Control Alt Delete. Control Alt Deleted. Okay. Control Alt huh. Deleted. Wow. Yeah. That I mean, this game. is it's a very impressive game. I mean, very impressive. These are actually really good picks for the games. Yeah. Wow, 2000 played this game. It's like very impressive. Very, very impressive game. Very, very impressive yeah. game. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. We, we, both, we, we both went so high. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, here we go. Here's, here's uh, game number 10. Huh. All right, so this is Speedster versus Accuracy Matters. Mm-hmm, right, uh, okay. That's a good name, all right. Sorry, I, I no, think sorry. you you're gonna. No, get no, it. it's uh, okay. So G three knight of. Well, no, I did the or actually you did the last one, right? Knight, knight of six or no, I did the last one. So you can you can do this one. Okay, sounds good. Okay, more ready or kings in the attack, some combination. Mm -hmm. Really waiting to push any. Do you think it's good to castle first and wait, or better to push? Uh, um, I think it depends first. which system you're taught. Like if you're if you're basically taught like all these systems with D three, then I don't think it matters. If you're taught systems where you try to play like Catalan or, or Redis, like you know, if you if you're gonna play like D four and one go, or you're gonna play C four, then probably mm -hmm. the or you should probably play like C four D four first without castling. Whereas if you learn the D three systems, I don't think it matters what the order is. Okay. And also, as we see, black white white clearly intended to play D three, so it makes sense. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Knight d2, okay. E4. Okay. Castle. Yeah. Knight e4 is already not the best move. Um, I mean, white should take with the pawn on e4. If, I mean, if you're more advanced, you, you would take with the pawn, not the knight, because you, you basically concede the center here, potentially. So it's a little bit of an unusual move. So so should black not have taken the knight here? Um. Well, I think the point is that basically white can never claim any advantage, because after trade and castles, uh, mm -hmm. You can't ever put pressure on e5, and the bishop on c5 is better than your bishop on c1. So, like, in a position like d4, normally how white plays is you take with the pawn, and let's just say black castle, you try to go something like c3, b4, knight c4, or knight c4 right away just to put pressure on the center. Whereas when you take with the knight, um, it's not like you're worse or anything, but you are you never really are better here. Right. Okay, so that, that, that gives away white's chances right. for getting an advantage out of the opening. Right, exactly. Okay. Okay, okay, nice move. Okay. All right. Well, that's G6 was kind of a weird move on Black's end. It didn't feel necessary. Could have just maybe moved his knight instead. Yeah, but the problem is if you move the knight instead, the white knight's going to F5. So, like, I mean, well, I mean, if you play knight F6, white is like bishop G5 and rook D1. Mm -hmm. And if you move like this way, I think white can still go to F5 here, um, potentially. I, I mean, I think G6 is okay move i don't know if it's best but i think it's okay at least okay um bishop h6 makes sense rookie eight rook a d1 i mean this is already actually looking mm -hmm. kind of bad for black right right so okay b6 okay bishop a6 that's a good Ooh. move yeah c4 okay e3 okay makes sense black is repositioning their pieces very well here rook takes does that feel weird to you I think it's actually the best move, probably. I mean, you can maybe take with the bishop as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably bishop takes is a little bit better, but you only have two captures to begin with, so, so I guess not that surprising to take with the rook here. Fair enough, okay. Okay, so rook g4, yeah, goes all in on the attack. Mm -hmm. Rook f1. Uh-huh. All right, That's... preparing some queen g7 annoyances here. Right. Bishop g5. Oh, I like it. Is, black, is white repositioning here? Wow, well, knight uh, f3 is a great move. Well, I don't know if it's yeah. the best move, but it's, it's a very creative move. Wow. It is creative. It is creative. And then you can't, so you can't take on d8 here because you just mm -hmm. capture the rook. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's a nice save. That's a nice save. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if knight wow. takes, what happens if knight takes rook? You take on D2, yeah. and I guess that you're just okay with that. Yeah, no, I mean it looks. Uh... Yeah, you're just up a you're you're just you're just up a pawn, but Rook takes G2 is very high level. Takes G2 makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, just like 
Okay, but actually, we're, now there's Rook G7. Wait a second. Now you're, now you're losing. Or no, you aren't losing. Knight F6. Okay. And you can't play Rook F8, so you gotta, I yeah. guess, defend here as white. Ooh. Yeah, and, and now Black just wins. Huh. Yeah, wait. Wasn't Rook takes H2 checkmate? Oh, yeah. Rook H2 is mate in one also. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I don't know which, which, which move is... Um... Yeah, I don't know. I which mean, it doesn't right. matter because you're you're winning regardless. So, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, what? What? Okay, like, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure. Knight of three is a very high quality move, though. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go back to yeah. it right here. Right. Knight of three. Yeah. Yeah. Knight of three is a very high quality move. Right, because black basically realizes they're in huge trouble here and under attack, they don't really have play, so they simplify and they yeah. see that tactic and all lose material. Right, right, yeah. All right, okay. Okay, good luck on this one. Okay, good luck to you two on this one, let's see. All right, you guys, let's see. Um, Knight of three is such a high quality move. Such a high quality move. This game feels very high quality. Knight e4 is not the move that I would play, but I mean, it's not actually bad either, though. I'm trying to look this through. I mean, g6 is actually the best move, I'm pretty sure here. Okay. I mean, this looks very high quality. This looks so high quality. I mean, I mean, what exactly? I mean, are there any blunders in this game? Like, if we just go, if I just go through it cleanly, I know I probably shouldn't do it for Alexander. Oh, we're in emote mode again. Okay, uh, which means what? What? What happened? Somebody spoiled it. I, I mean, someone I think said something about Andrea last time. So, okay. So, chat knows what the game is. Wait a second. Now I'm gonna use my five head. Wait a second. Chat knows what this game is, and it's very high quality. Does this mean this is my game? Wait a second. D d d wait a second. Okay. Let's work this backwards. Let's work this backwards. Okay, if chat knows and there are no blunders, it has to be one of my games or it has to be like, it has to be streamers. So who are the streamers? There's me, there's Danya, there's Hans. The Krikor is probably not Krikor. Krikor probably, it's it's a perfect game. So it's probably not Krikor. So it's me, Hans, Danya. Who else is, are there any other, any other super, I mean, it could be Hansen, but I doubt, I mean, Hansen doesn't Hansen doesn't play the uh, ready. So wait, wait, wait a second. Okay, Hansen doesn't play a ready. So let me work this backwards then. There's me, Danya, and Hans. Is there anybody else that I can think of? Vidit, maybe? It could be Vidit. Vidit doesn't really play this, but it could be Vidit. There are no other 2,900, 3,000 streamers. So, okay, so wait. I'm 3,200. Danya's, Danya's give or take 3,000. And Hans is give or take 2,950. So that means I'm going to go with an average of like but it, it, what if it's not them though okay wait it could also not be a streamer it could no but everybody know no okay so let's say it's not a streamer i'm gonna say it skews low side no blunders maybe it could be like Krikor or bobby bobby hess maybe 2700 up to probably 3000 is my skew it's 2700 3000 i'll probably go like 20 i think i'll go like 20 yeah i don't know let's see let's see what she says let's see all right, I, I got my answer. I'm gonna go with uh, 2850. Oh shoot, I said 2650. Oh okay, let's see. Hmm, whenever you're higher on these, even though my chat was telling me I'm going way too high, and I told them Knight, Knight of Three is like an amazing move. Like it's just such a high quality move in Blitz to find. That's fair. 2957. Yeah, no, that 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 makes sense. Who played that game? Do we know, or we're not we're not revealing? Oh, it's Nero Ditsky against Brandon Jacobson. Oh, that's why. Okay, actually, wait, Dana played Knight takes E4, really? Really, Riley, really, Knight takes E4. Really? Hmm, okay. <laughs> hmm. You know what I told my chat? I'm gonna capture them and I'm gonna put them on the YouTube video so that they can see what they did for telling me that answer was too high. Really, Knight takes E4 by Daniel, really? Really, 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 huh, huh. So, do you think he prepared this, or you just think it's no? I mean, it's, it's just a blitz game. I just, I, I'm, I'm surprised because it really makes the game very flat. Um, 
Like, because the thing is, like, normally when you, like, this whole whole point is when you play this, like, ready or king's any attack and, and black takes, I mean, most, like, I, I'm actually hard-pressed to think of a situation where you take with the, where you take with the knight and you don't take with the pawn. So I'm just kind of surprised. Oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong scene. Sorry. But, yeah, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very hard-pressed to think of a situation where you, um, where, you, like, in a, in a king's any attack or, or any of these setups where you take with the knight and you don't take with the pawn in e4. Huh. Anyway, yeah. What, what do you think the possible explanation would be for it? Well, I mean, first of all, it's just blitz. Obviously, you never know what the match score was, or you know what the what the flow of the games games was. Um, that's the first thing. But it actually, especially because this this was a game played between them, it's surprising because when you have the white pieces, you want to like get initiative and attack. And so, mm -hmm. like trading the knights, it kind of makes it a lot harder because you trade knights off the board. And secondly, also for someone like Danya, Danya is a very aggressive player, so like trading down pieces is not in his style so much. So it's also kind of surprising, but I will say that that overall, though, this knight f3 move is ridiculously good by Brandon. This this knight f3 move on move 22 is like really, really good, like amazingly good. Mm. No, oh. that, that, that that's true. Oh, actually, you know what? Daniel's in chat. You know what he wrote? He was what? hoping he was hoping for a pre move. That's why he took with the knight. So it's like here I am with my like super deep analysis of why he took with the knight and he's like oh he's just hoping for a pre move so he could take the fish on c5. <laughs> oh, were they playing bullet? Oh, actually, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know if this was Blitz or Bullet. It could, it could have been either. Because he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be waiting for a pre move if it's not Bullet. Oh, actually, this is Bullet. Night after is even more impressive. But I, oh, I, th I think Benjamin it was Oh, Benjamin Box said it was three minutes. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. It's funny that he was waiting for a pre move. I, that, that, that's funny. Yeah, but okay. I mean, it, it, but that's the flow of the match. Like in the first game or like second game, you're not going to have that happen. But if you played like five, ten games, sometimes you do actually do this because you're hoping that people will just be blitzing out the moves and make mistakes. So, <laughs> yeah, um, but no, no, I, now, now it makes sense. It makes makes perfect sense. Huh. Well, yeah. I, I, so yeah, you, you guessed, you guessed most of these correct, but I, this was my first time playing, so I feel like I needed a warm up, you know? Yeah, I think, I think what I would say is that it seems like you actually, you just, you assume that, that the players, you, you guess on the lower side as opposed to the higher side, like pretty consistently. I think if we look at our Yeah, scores. that's true. I, I think if I if I would add to, to most of them, they would have been a little bit more accurate. Although I did <laughs> guess 1500 for the 1000 rated. I went a little bit too wild with that one. Yeah, that, that one was probably too wild. But normally the way I look at it is I look at like, I try to find a range and think about like, what like what's the highest that a player could be when they play a move? And what's like mm -hmm. the lowest end of the, that the game could be like, you know, it could be like say 2000 and then say like, could it be 1000 or 1500? And then I try to basically work backwards from that. That's how I do it. Oh, right. So that's that's why you were so focused on uh, the, the Knight F3 move, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So okay, no, yeah. That, that that makes sense. Um, I, I I don't think somebody could have stumbled into it, but I thought a twenty six fifty could have played that as well. What with the last one? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely, a twenty six fifty could have played it for sure. Yeah, twenty six fifty could have played it. Um, I I have no doubt. But actually, the the, the previous one was crazy because that was the one that like I was sure. Um, the 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 Grunfeld one, I was sure that that had to be like a twenty six hundred, and then it was like two thousand. Just right, because you were already taking into account the Grunfeld, so you assumed it was somebody higher rated, but then White just played against it so well, so...